ship Hello, under attack. everyone. How good of you to join ship under attack? Yes, that is the very first message that comes up every single second. Um, I'm still going to keep them alive, though, these messages, because uh, sometimes they do actually matter quite a lot. Now, in Tabarim, we stopped in the last episode, and we do have lots of work to do in Tabarim. The first thing is we have now, well, the goat milk is in the... Well, Musician's Court is in. The Hibiscus Tea would be my next goal. We already prepared our Hibiscus Farms over there. So now I just need to build the tea spices. And for that, I was in the process of starting our little industrial district over here. We're going to need a lot of these um, spicers. So let's just go ahead and place a few of them right here in this corner. So we save maximum amount of space there, really. I guess we can still have a couple more here. Bear in mind, they produce only every 1.5 second a minute so they're really slow basically we do need a lot of them let's go ahead with the warehouse uh, let's go ahead with the first farms i'm starting with four because i know we're going to need a lot of them anyway there you go beautiful fields by the way and those people hopefully doesn't matter how hot it is they will need to harvest my well basically my crops my tea and over here i can now go ahead and let's get us cracking with i say also four of them just here now, those four are going to be quite... Uh, they're going to produce more than we actually can um, craft here, right? So that's fine. So we're building up some hibiscus because I think we're going to need it for some other productions and other quests then as well. The other thing that we have is that we also can do here in Tabarim right away Dinosaur. is the dry house. For that, we do need the Senga farm and we do need the salt works. Both of them are rather good here because, first of all, we don't need to um, have any more fertile ground. So these farms we can use here in the dry area up there. Um, and the second one is the salt works that we can use along the coastline. So let's go ahead and have the next production chain here. And that's probably going to be one of the last production chains that we're going to have in Tabarim itself, right? And they have huge fields as we can see, right? So it's not going to be so easy having a lot of them here. Let's have another one up there. I think we can make this one work just fine. Uh, that's probably not not very good looking. This one's a bit better. Very good. And another one up here. Going a bit into the ones that the woodcutter by... Yeah, it's destroying it by 2%. But that's going to be absolutely fine. That's uh, two of them. They produce every minute. Oh, okay. Two of them is for one dry house. Uh, so we don't need quite a lot of these bad boys. Uh, bad boys because they really, really consume a lot of space. And I guess we just have to work with that. Uh, that's also nasty looking. Oh, 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 very important. The book has arrived for the queen. Let's turn it in. I've just taken any book that we can find at Madame Kahina. So a, the, a very important one. Where is it? There it is. Now we need to build a royal toilet. Choose someone to be the queen's maid servant. We need to do this because otherwise we cannot continue with the iron tower. And I would really like to finish the iron tower before... Um, we start with our next monuments because it's just a very, very big project overall. Now, we do need to choose something here. Um, let's voyage. just have a look at that. Her Majesty has extended a list of requests to ensure the inauguration proceeds in the best possible circumstances. Particulars include securing a hotel suit next to the Iron Tower and providing light reading for Her Majesty, as well as a maidservant. Talk to the potential maidservants. Uh, we do need to find one, a suitable one. We have three available. We have a sharply tongued maid. We have a sharply dressed maid. And we do have a destitute maid. What is a destitute one saying? Of course, it would be an honor, but I expect you would rather word not get out. A maid's chief virtue is silence. All right, what is this one saying? I'll have the queen looking proper and sensible with none of that frilly nonsense. A true monarch should be austere. And then we have the sharply tongued one. And oh, my friends will be jealous when I show them all the jewelry, the dresses. Besides, how hard can it be? Oh my goodness. Ah, well, let's take the fun one. The sharply tongued. We've better sense than to take on a maid driven by selfishness and whimsy. We shall be forced now to make our own arrangements. Oh, that wasn't good. That was actually a wrong choice here. At least we got the meal right, the dinner. And we got her the book to read. Now we need to finish it. I guess now we can start it? No, we can still not start the Iron Tower. We still need to prepare a meal. So in that case here, we can of course go wrong again. 
after piss pitting the pitting, picking the meal uh, we also need to um have a conspiracy here with inauguration day drawing ever nearer so archibald has started to worry that security is not up to snuff he insists there need to be more police patrols near the monument we need to have a police station near the iron tower so we need to finish all of these quests of course in order to continue Problem is, a police station does require space. I don't have that much space, really. I do need to have it close to it. Like, really close. Let's just have a look at that. We have some police stations. We do have some smaller ones as well, like this one, the Mobile Task Force. Perhaps this one is counting as a police station for the quest. Because the cool thing is, we have some space in here. So let's just get rid of these ornaments there and place us a police task force in there. Is that working out? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so the normal ugly one is the only thing that's working and we need to place it really right beside it. I'm not a big fan of these forced or buildings that we have to place. It's just not looking good. I'm going to get rid of that once uh, we are done with it. So there is now this conspiracy here um, and we do need to select the residents to interrogate them. We got the exalted artisans, the gang of workers and the busy farmers. I guess I already know who's probably going to be it. Um, the queen, now I've got nothing against her. And what about the queen? I'm not saying anything. Be gone and stop your troubling. Oh, this is going to be difficult. And the artisans. Why would anyone want to disturb a day of such importance? Of course, it's the workers. They're already we a troublemaker with uh, Hugo Mercier there as well and the anarchist. And most likely it's going to be the workers then. I'm Watch definitely going to choose attack. them. Let's make the workers talk. I'm not telling you anything. We could bribe them. Perhaps this will bring their ring or threaten to increase taxation. Water. Let's do this. All right, let's actually... All right, with a bit of money, they actually want to talk. Now, something very unfair is happening. I do have my defenses in the harbor, yet this battleship will probably take over um, this island here once more. I've already taken the resources that we had here. Steel beams is still missing. There you go. And we're probably going to lose this one because I don't have a proper defense here. It is still fully upgraded, right? So it should actually have the maximum amount. But this one is just relentlessly firing on it. And I think we might be losing it. If it's not fleeing or anything like that. Unfortunately, the battleships that I have in the region are not really adding a lot to the morale of it. It's actually stopping now, attacking the harbor and is going for my ships. And with that, <laughs> very, very close, but we actually secured the island for now. Look at how fast it is. Even though it's damaged a lot, perhaps we can catch up to it. Alright, we can catch up to it and we can destroy it in the process. Very important that we take down this one as well. I hate Bente. Now we also found the conspirators, <laughs> there they are, with the crates push. right next to them and they're begging us not to take them to Sewer Archibald. And cons yeah, let's not collect them at my harbor no, and I guess we need to get them over to Archibald Blake's lighthouse. The good thing is we have a white flag ship here and we can just get this one now to High Clarence Hall without any problems on board they are and with that hopefully we finish this conspiracy too and we can then hopefully continue building the iron tower now what i could do in the meantime is uh, we can get us a few more skyscrapers as i should be doing so let's go ahead and get us those guys here up right so this is all going to be skyscraper terrain um at some point and why not just use it now there we have a few more we could also go ahead and upgrading us a few more of the skyscrapers directly that we have in this area to also boost us a bit of the income. Look at that, how much money I lose every time I'm upgrading uh, buildings to skyscrapers. It's truly point. incredible how infective or how um, impactful the intensive uh, panorama effect is. We really need it, unfortunately. There is another one. Uh, those blocks here we can also finish. And this one here I'm going to leave open for now. And then I might just add those guys. There you go. Perfect. I'm not going to upgrade more for now. We're going to need a lot of these for the monument, though. So actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and continue with the upgrading. We might also have some smaller islands of skyscrapers somewhere, right? I don't want to have a full um, full skyscraper wall, you might say, like that. But we could have them a bit closer and a bit more separated as well, like this block there. Oh, and we're down to elevators now. Am I still producing elevators? We're still doing that. We need it's to wait again a bit more inspection. for elevators. 
Okay, there's also something very, very annoying happening. Bente that conquered this island not a few min minutes ago actually pulled it up with a lot of cannons and is now attacking all my cargo ships. Of course, it was kind of like to be expected, but not so quickly, and I thought I had more time. Now, we do have the battleships, though, in the region. They're all moving already to the island because I'm going to conquer it back, of course. Very important. And then I'm probably going to move against her other islands here because she really needs to go. Gosh, and I there was a time when I thought Miss Hunt was the most annoying enemy in this game. Of course, it's not Miss Hunt. It is Bente Jorgensen. Let's take her down. She's got a few cannons here in the region. I should be fine with three battleships, though. There my battleships move in. Let's take down the more important big baddies here first. Those are the ones that are really crushing my cargo ships. They need to go. And then there's also a harbor artillery. And look at that, how much damage one of my battleships takes. These big baddies are insane. Especially if there are two of them in the area. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. All right, we can actually... Uh, she's also going right into my harbor area now. Are you serious? Let's continue building some more battleships. We need that. And yes, I might actually lose one of my battleships here. Moving it out. I don't think that we can be quick enough. They have a huge range, really. Yeah, I'm going to lose that. I did not expect that. So much damage. It's insane. Considering how much health one of these battleships has, it's this harbor artillery now that's doing most of the damage. If we take it down, we have won this one, but it's not down yet. There, it's down now. Gee, really, that was that was really hard, and it also took a lot of damage on our trade routes, of course. So we lost the copper trader. I need to replace it with one of my cargo ships. We lost a weapon trader. I need to rep uh, replace it there again. Really took down some ships here. And that uh, we've taken it back. There's some small items here. Nothing really important. Let's get those ships back to my repair crane. And since we really do need more influence, let's continue upgrading my engineers. We can do quite a few of them over here. That's a lot of more influence coming in there. Perfect. And now we are out of bricks anyway. That's 44 more influence that we have. Bear in mind, we are constructing two battleships at the moment now. Um, that's going to take a while, but those are going to help out as well as we've lost a few here. 44, that's good. We are really down on balance there too, so I think something is missing um, when it comes to my skyscrapers. Might that be right? Those guys here, we do need to upgrade a few of them in order to get the panorama effect. It's really, really expensive. Hmm, but everything else is fine. Every one of these has everything they need, right? There's nothing really that would affect it. It's really just the panorama effect that it's dragging us down like that. Now, we really need to focus on our production chains as well. We have now four of these farms here. That would lead to two dry houses that we can at least... Let's empower it with them. Let's have those four here. Here, I'm going to have a fire station, most likely. We have also gotten the workers over to Archie. We can continue now here with our main quest for the Iron Tower. And here, I can then have my salt works. They produce every 30 seconds, too. That means two of them should be fine for now. Um, probably can have more down the road then. Let's have the road connection. And let's build us some four of these farms. Let's build two of my salt works. And with that, I can get us at least two dry houses working over here. So that's another production chain that is working for us now. And the salt works are probably... I mean, this is looking really cool. I like the salt works a lot. Look at that. Lots of details there as well. And they're all on rocks getting the salt done and this one brings in the dry meat the next product that we need so this is only that and then only really the embroidery or the finery is waiting for us and that's over here now i do need to get my battleships back up here of course Katima wants to talk with us now too let's get the ones of timber to this island and here we can then start with our next uh, productions Meanwhile, we can finally start the superstructure of the Iron Tower Phase 
three of three has started. It does cost me quite a lot of steel beams, reinforced concrete, and arsen workforce 500 for that for now. And by the way, my worker workforce is really low. Oh, we're down on work cloth? How is that possible? Aren't we getting work cloth in with Captain Tobias? Doesn't seem like it. I thought we were. Now what I can do is I can get rid of the schnapps Supply. import that Weapon we have over there. Behind. And instead I'm going to use, sorry, my sewing machines for the workload directly. Actually, aren't we getting wool in as well? No, we are not. We're getting actually the workload from Leary, right? That we have the production. But it seems like it's not enough right now. And let's do some sewing machines here on the potatoes. And then I can use some of that on my schnapps distilleries that we're going to have a bit further away. Just to make it safe, right? And there we have then a couple of them here. That should be enough for the limited population that we have. Put the warehouse over here. And we do need 20 schnapps per minute. But we're already getting a lot of schnapps in as well from the from Leary, right? So I'm not going to have more than that. This should solve the problem here, especially for the workforce. As we can see, it's already going down or it's going up again, the workforce, because the workload is coming in once more. Now the last phase for the iron tower. How very nice. So this one here is now in its final steps and we can finish this one then all and good. This police station here, I should be able to get rid of now. And let's do this and let's get my investor buildings back again that I've actually moved. Right, because it's absolutely insane having a police station next to the iron tower. There you go. And I might just then have some nice fountain here or something like that. Or actually, since it's very close in the center, let's just have us another investor right next to it. There you go. And then a fountain plaza right there in the center. We also have another quest. We have, by the way, dozens of quests at the moment. Uh, the market research lab here for the skyscrapers. We need to continue with that as well in order to advance to the skyscraper monument. And this one here wants me to place a gazebo plaza next to an engineer skyscraper. We should be able to do this. Here we have some engineer skyscrapers with those fountains in the center. Let's get rid of that and have a gazebo plaza in the center here instead of the fountain plaza. There you go. Should be a breeze now for Miss Jenny, my house help here, to get to work. So I guess he likes picture. that a lot and we She'll finished that quest as well. Pretty. Let's continue with this one here in Sparrow. Hell, hell there. Thank you for, my, for the support. And there you have it, your own little island. Hopefully we can protect it as we go. Let's have the marketplace here and the first shepherds for the workforce, really. It's only really for that. And the cool thing is, well, they don't really need anything else other than the market, right? We don't need to have, like, fish, for example, where without fish they would just get um, devastated again. Nope, they are just going to be totally fine with the marketplace. We do have some timber still left. We have the shepherd workforce. Um, let's go ahead and we do need now... How many of them do we actually need? They are producing every minute, so they're not really fast. The mill is then producing every 30 seconds once more. So let's have four of these farms for now. They cost me five shepherds, so we can afford us four of them right, right, that. Let's have the marketplace there and let's have the water pump. That is almost at capacity once again, going in both directions there. Ah, uh, princess, why are you doing this? You, you know exactly that you, you cannot afford that. And we're just going to make some ceasefire there again. Actually, totally useless doing anything else with a diplomacy there, as they really don't want to do that. Bent is still at, at a four-digit military score. Nothing I can really do there. Now, there we go. Let's have the Lindsay farm number one, Lindsay farm number two. So this one is going to be right here. They do need 96 fields, so actually not that much. There we have another one just along the river here. And then I can have another one here to fill in A competitor this whole area there. Is under siege. Angorab entered the Angorab. Angorab? What? That is a neutral NPC here and that is kind of like under attack. What is happening if this one goes down? Very interesting actually, but I think it was just a ship passing by. Would have been a lot of fun really. There we have it, and there we have more fields then for this area. Perfect, so that's the four farms that we really need. Let's build all of them, and let's build the mark, uh, the, the warehouse there as well. That was, by the way, also a quest, of course, that we needed to finish here. Water, the key to bringing together. 
Beautiful, really. I love the aesthetics in Nbisa. Traditionally, shepherds weave their own garments, but they need linseed. And Good. Linseed the only thing we now need is a trade route. Now, we do have that schooner here, the Sea Scorpion. Let's have this one working for now between Sparrow and Tabrim. And it's going to take us the, the linseed that we need, right? And really only can take those two anyway. And Sea Scorpion it is. Is there any other ship for sale here? Or do I need to get something over? There's another schooner coming up, but that's really not something that we can use long term wise. Let's actually use. Hmm, we also don't have any more cargo ships available, I think. So after the two battleships are done, let's build two cargo ships. It's going to take a while still for these battleships, really. Look at that. Only halfway through. Now that is coming in. We only need now the linen mill. I do need two for the farms that I have so far. And then of course a bit more. So let's have them here. Oh, they're actually pretty pretty big here. Let's have four. Those four. And that would lead to a maximum of eight embroiderers. Holy cow, they also do require a lot of space. Four here that I could have. And then probably another four here. I don't think that I'm ever going to need that much, but just for safety reasons, let's do this. And we can also, of course, continue with the expansion of Tabarim itself. Ship under attack. Anything new you have to tell us? Nope. Ship under attack. That's it. Let's have a few more here, and of course the main road continues into this area there as well. And there, I would like to use this area for a nice little park then later right here in the center of Tabarim. I can go ahead and get us another marketplace for this district. We should be doing that, but first I would like to have some more blocks. I do, by the way, like these blocks here that I'm copying quite often. I don't know what it is about them, but their high density is just something that I really do, do enjoy. Yet they can also still have some green ornaments with Ships them as well. Attack. There we have it. I probably will have to have a block here. Then we have the next marketplace just there. That should reach everything, basically. There you go. Let's build the marketplace and let's build all of these people there as well. As Tabrim is growing. Meanwhile, Sea Scorpion is on its way with its first six tons of uh, seaweed or linseed, actually. Let's just see how long it will survive in these dangerous waters. So far, so good. We are making some progress, even though it's pretty hard for now. Stay tuned. <laughs> 